all right team so we are going to slide straight into the video so first things first support and resistance is actually so so important trust me you actually need to know about support and resistance so one thing i actually recommend is please make sure you watch the video until the end because at the end of the video you will actually be able to actually come up with trades using support and resistance uh to actually uh, to make this even easier i'm going to get a few trades using the strategies that i'm actually going to be discussing with you right now so we are going to start right away so the first thing they're actually going to do is you are going to start from a bigger time frame so just like uh, right now we are on nzd jpy this is the currency pair that we are looking at so we are going to adjust the time frame to a bigger time frame so a bigger time frame might be h4 it might be the daily or it might even be h1 you know depending depending me personally i actually recommend that you start from the h4 so we are going to select h4 good so we are going to start from the h4 time frame so we can identify these levels so after getting to a bigger time frame you are going to zoom out your charts okay so we are going to zoom out your charts so this can be done uh, on the mobile device by um uh, using your two fingers and squeezing the charts okay to get the bigger picture of uh of the of the chart right so this is how we are currently so the first thing it's on a bigger time frame and this is h4 and we have zoomed out our charts so we are going to look through the charts using our bare eyes to get the obvious levels right so i'm going to look at levels using my bare eyes where the market could have pushed and bounced off right so i'm going to use the line tool Again, this can be found on the mobile device by uh, clicking on the objects and yep, you will be able, just like how you guys can see on the screen, this is actually how you find the object. So I'm going to use the line, the horizontal line and draw a, a, a horizontal line. This is just a random line, but guess what? So I'm going to adjust this line at least to have a number of touches, okay? So we can get where the market pushed and bounced off, pushed and bounced off. So we have uh, adjusted it so we can get the first touch at this point we have the second touch at this point we have the third touch at this point we have the fourth touch at this point the fifth touch well these are five five touches on the same line right so that's the first thing that we have gotten again i'm actually going to try draw another line you know again by using my run uh, my eyes i'm just going to trace a, a point where the market was were pushing up or maybe bouncing off you know getting resistance so i'm just going to draw this random line as you guys can see so i'm going to kind of adjust it to again have a number of touches right good so i have this touch i have this touch i have uh this touch this touch and this touch wow these are so so many right so that's a random uh that's that's also a valid line so the rule of thumb uh on, on analyzing uh using support resistance is these uh points should have at least three number of touches okay so just like how you guys can see we have the first touch the second touch the third touch the fourth touch the fifth touch the sixth touch so this is worth it right remember we only need three touches again on the on the upper line we have one touch the second touch oh this is also a touch the third touch the fourth touch the fifth touch the sixth touch and uh, this is it's the seventh touch already right then the next thing is you can always count the weeks okay consider the weeks uh don't just consider the body let me show you something uh, to what i'm actually uh explaining now you can see that this is a week at this point this is a week uh you can see it's not a full candlestick oh sorry let me use uh this tool here to show you what i'm exactly referring to so we have this one here you can see it's just kind of a week so we also count these points because it still uh, reached the line that we actually wanted okay so we have that noted down already now you might ask so what's the support what's the resistance so let me illustrate this using these lines here so here's what we were basically looking at we seen that a market was pushing up pushing down pushing up pushing down pushing up pushing down pushing up so guess what so we have a point here we have these points 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 here again we also have these 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 now in the current state this is called consolidation right this is called consolidation the markets are basically moving in a range right it's bouncing off up down and down so this is going to be our support because when the markets reach here they are supported to move up when the markets reach here they are supported to move up 
when they reach here they are supported to move up you guys can get the concept right and then on the upper side we have the resistance when the markets reach here they are resistance to move are, are resistant to move down race here resistance to move down race here resistance to move down easy concept right and then let's look at uh, an uptrend so the other side we might have an uptrend so what's an uptrend so in the uptrend we are going to look at the markets moving in such a way higher highs and then higher lows check this out so in this case uh we shall use such uh lines these are called trend uh, trend lines this can also be used to find the support and resistance levels so check this so we have uh this point we have this point we have this point we have this point we also have this point we have this point we have this point so guess what so in this case uh we shall have this as um our support just like how i'm going to explain and then this as as the resistance as the resistance why because you can see that the markets were um whenever the markets reached this level they were resistant to come back down and then when they reached here they are supported to push up reached here resisted to move down reached here supported to move up reached here supported to, uh, to move down just like that right and then either way in the downtrend is just the opposite of this so in the downtrend we expect the market to be moving in such a direction in this case we have such trend lines so we have these points here 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 so uh, it means the market was moving down when it reached this level it got resisted uh, to push back up when it reached here it got supported to move down when it reached here it got resisted pushed up supported to move down easy easy concept so now so you might be asking how do i actually use support and resistance to come uh, to come up with trades now here is the concept so support and resistance just basically uh gets us a um, kind of a confluence like if this happened in the past it could possibly happen in the future you guys get the point so in such a case if the price i uh, was resisted at this point resisted at this point so i would be waiting that okay when the markets actually come back to this point i could possibly look for a trade because this has happened multiple times so i could possibly wait for a trade to get in for a buy because it has happened in the past uh, in the past uh, days it's reaching the level getting re resisted reaching the level getting resisted and oh this is an easy concept and then uh, in an uptrend you can see that okay if the markets were actually reaching the level and getting resisted reaching the level getting resisted so guess what how about if i waited for a trade when the uh, mark uh, when the markets uh comes back to such a level so i would be taking a trade at this point cool so let's look at this in the live chat so we can actually come up with a trade now uh, a rule of thumb is this uh supper uh, resistance can also be combined with um candlestick patterns okay you can combine this with candlestick patterns and yep it's a bit so so helpful um so we are going to look at this uh right now so check this out so we were looking at uh uh at these levels already we had analyzed that these levels were valid valid levels it's a level it's a level it's a level so again either way we have this as a level as a level as a level oh and this being a level so guess what so we would be looking at the market we would be looking at this point right now if uh if um we at this point and we can see that in the past it was being a resistance level the markets were actually pushing uh down whenever they reached there so we would be looking for a trade at such a point so we are looking at this current level so remember this level was actually respected uh in the past it was respected in the past so it means we could possibly also get at sale now this doesn't mean that we are going to enter the sale immediately nope now check this out so we are going to scale down to a smaller time frame so let's say h1 we are going to first go to the h1 and see if there is any change now on the h1 again we are going to bring in more support and resistance concepts so we are going to use a trend line 
and draw a simple trend line because I can see we we could possibly get a number of touches here. Um, we have a number of touches here. Oof, uh, this is this is also a, a good trend line, meaning that we are basically considering that okay, if the markets can break down or maybe that could also be a trade. But then remember, I told you it's even better to combine support and resistance with more candlestick patterns. So again, I can also see that this is an engulfing candlestick already to the down uh, to the downside. So we are not going to enter the trade immediately. Nope. Using support and resistance is just basically going to help you find those key levels where you could possibly get a trade. Now, we have these possibilities. So we have the market uh, either pushing up or breaking down and then push uh, coming for a retest and then pushing downwards. Why? Because this level was, um, was a key level in the past. Again, that's the first thing. Either ways, we could again see the markets maybe pushing up, you know, pushing up and then getting uh, to the upside. So we just have to wait for some more confluence um, for us to confirm that, okay, we are going to take this trade. You guys get the point. So basically, supply resistance is going to help you to come up with the key levels in the markets. When you come up with the key levels in the markets, you are going to possibly um, uh, uh, determine why you could take a trade. So just like at this point, we have a sale on a bigger side. We would basically be looking for a sale. Uh, by the way, let me scale down to M15 so we can see it even better when you keep scaling down to smaller time frames so you can get entries. Bigger time frames just help you to determine these key levels in the markets and then smaller time frames are going to help you come up with the trades so that's the main concept behind support resistance one thing that i actually recommend is you should actually read more or maybe on candlesticks i will actually make a video on candlestick patterns to get you guys going so if you guys like the video please make sure you hit the like button for youtube algorithm and of course uh, make sure you join a, a, free, a free telegram channel and yeah